Well, that jumps. It looks like the community mission's finished, and also my stem is done. So let's go and have a quick look at the stemmy. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. There it is. Mature neuro stem. Fantastic. So I'd imagine if I fly out, engage my pulse drive, hopefully something will start happening. Let me just check that I'm on the correct mission. So there I am. I fulfilled the request of the void egg as best I can. Uh, to understand it, I should await further contact from the egg or those whom it calls. I thought that would be the case. Right, so let's take one off. There we go. Let's fly on out. And let's just engage the pulse drive. And let's see if that does it. It might. It might not. Let's see. Okay. And we're pulsing through the universe. So, yeah, I did a video on pulse fishing. I put a link to it up at the top there. So if you want to try and find yourself some gnarly stuff, you can try using that method. I might have to jump, though. I might have to do a warp jump and then pulse. I don't know. I don't know. But once I get the next mission uh, started, I will be sure to let you know, Because I wasn't having much luck in that, that system that I was in. So here we go. So it's a gag system. I think I may have been here before. Not 100% sure. Just have a quick look at the old discoveries page. Gag system. Yeah, I've already discovered this system. Okay. Well, let's um, let's start pulsing because we've got the um, mission down in the bottom right corner, saying that you've got a weight of frequency. So let's just pulse this way. Let's see if something comes in. If anything, come on. Oh, here we go. Here we got something. Here we are. The Metal Masters blind us no more. We are free. We may swim, fly, live, die. <laughs> the Void Egg quivers as the uh, lighting, lightning, lightning music of the alien ship fills my cockpit. It is a motion of recognition. Accept transmission. Heck yes. In the song of the ship. The creature fills my starship, filling from circuit to circuit, flooding the computer. As the music fades, I hear a faint echo, a gently hummed response, the void egg. Awesome! Okay, well I've got a hostile scan, just as the uh, mission came in. So hello there. Oh, you don't look that hostile. Friend, did you not know this is a trade route belongs to us? Pay the penalty, fine or suffer the consequences. You know what? I am going to suffer the consequences because, yep, you do not. You do not scare me, sir. No. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. Well, there they are. They came from behind. Oh my god, there's freaking four of them. Okay. Well, I'm just going to dispatch these guys, Jumps, and I'll be right back with you. There goes one, anyway. Okay, so I'll be right back with you. Bad guys defeated. Steve wins. Right, so let's um, have a quick look at my egg. Let's see if it's saying anything now. Where is my egg? There it is. Oh, it now says stringing void egg. Lovely. Ooh, okay. When touched, it conjures a powerful vision of a dust-covered world of extreme storms. Okay. In oh, we've got to open up the galactic map. We jump into another system, chums. Now, my galactic map has been going extremely stuttery at times. Um, I don't know whether others have, but mine has been struggling a bit from time to time. And we're going here to the egg marker. Nice. The fucker dinny system. Let's go. I've arrived in the system. Now, before I actually go to any planets in this system, I'm going to go to the space station and I'm going to buy some more maps just in case we have to go to another plaque, which I am guessing is going to be the case. I mean, you know, if, if the weekend missions are anything to go by where you have to go touch free knowledge stones, I'd imagine we're going to have to go and touch free plaques before we get our freaking ship. Just as a guess, just as a freaking guess. So let's uh, head on into here. Let's go get some maps, and I'll be right back with you in a bit, and then we'll try to solve the puzzle of which planet to go see. Well, I'm yeah. up by the cartographer. Hello there, cartographer. How are you, sir? Oh, Renberger. Hello there, Renberger. Right, I would like one of your lovely maps. In fact, I would like a few of your lovely maps, if possible. I think I've got enough navigational data to buy a fair few of these. I'm going to take a, a fair swathe of them. I'm going to take ten of your lovely maps. Thank you. And I can't afford another 10, so I need to use these gingerly. Right, 
Excuse me, why? Excuse me, why? Captain coming through. Captain on the bridge. Right, so let's uh, fly on out and let's have a look to see if we can find whichever planet it is. So, where's my egg? Here's my egg. It says here, extreme worlds, a dust-covered world of extreme storms. All right, well, dust-covered. I'm thinking that's going to be Solarium, but we'd have to have a look to see if any of them have got extreme storms or activated something like activated cadmium or something like that. So let's scan this one first. Scanner Rooney. Star bulb. Now that has got um, activated copper. So yes, that has got storms. It says rainy planet as well, but it doesn't mention storms in the description. Let's uh, scan this one quickly. There we go. That's got activated copper. It's also arid, so I'd imagine dusty. And it's also got uh, Solarium. That's the, that's the sort of planet I was expecting. But let's just scan another one anyway. Let's scan all of them just to be sure. Narrowing down my choice. Rocky planet. Activated copper as well. And that's a cactus flesh pan planet. That That's another candidate. It's It could be one or the two of those. Oh, what are you over there? You're a freaking magnificent beast, you. Let's scan that one. And that's Solarium as well. Okay, well, we've. This does not help. <laughs> what about you? What the heck are you? Come on. Oh, scaly planet, copper. Okay, I don't think it's going to be that one. Right. And I don't think it's going to be that one. Right, we'll try, we'll try you first. We're going to try you first, I think. Scolding planet. Actually, that doesn't sound dusty, does it? That doesn't sound dusty. Um, was it this one that was arid? That was rocky. No, we go for the one that said arid, because that, to me, says dust. All right, we're going to try this one. Oh, for God's sake, another freaking hostile scan. These guys are freaking on point, aren't they? All right, well, I'm, I'm going to pay these ones off, because I just can't be arsed with them. All right, go on then. Take 15 bloody billion units or whatever you want. Get. All right, let's go, let's go. I'll see you at the planet, chums, and we'll see if we get the coordinates. If not, I may have to fly to another. But as you can see... Not as easy as the first planet. Okay, eh? jumps. Well, I've headed into this dusty planet, thinking I might get the coordinates. But you see here, you see down at the bottom, it says, you know, seeks a specific world. Usually, it would have started giving me the coordinates. So it's not that planet. So I just need to fly to another one now. I'm just going to try that one, I think, over there. We're going to try that one, the uh, star bulb one, which is my least favourite guess, but we're just going to go to all of them. Oh, an object of interest, you say? Okay, well, let's uh, have a quick look-see. Oh, okay, well, I guess we must have flown past whatever object of interest. Oh, no, it's, it's a giant crash freighter. All right, well, we'll just carry on. All right, guys, because at the moment, those crash freighters, I can't work out if they do anything. I've tried shooting them, tried landing on them, tried scanning them. Nothing. So, I have no idea. I'm hoping they give us some sort of module in the future that maybe has, like, a... I know a junk scanner or something on it, or a salvage scanner, anything! Because at the moment they seem a little bit eye candy, oh, turned out to be the uh, cactus planet, the uh, rocky planet. <laughs> Didn't mention extreme storms, but it has got activated copper, so yeah, it has got extreme storms. Right, so, I have to find those coordinates this time, chums. As you can see, I'm quite a distance off. I need to get that closer to the marker. So you saw how I managed to do that in the last episode. But because I'm way, way off, I'm just going to go to the opposite side of the freaking planet. So I'm just going to fly back up here and see if we can get those into plus statements. So I fly out here. Dum, 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 dum. Spin my ship around. Right, OK. So I was on minus, minus something over there. So I'm going to go all the way over here and see if that gives me plus plus okay all right it, it's not a surefire freaking theory or anything like that chumps but i'm, I'm just going to go over here a bit more probably gone all the way around the freaking globe now but let's uh, fly on down and let's see if that's um, improved my coordinates somewhat okay let's see if we've got any pluses on the radar okay so i have got a plus 34 I've gone too freaking far. All right, well, leave this with me, chums. I will find these coordinates. What I would say is, you see on the fighters, the panel is over there. On the haulers, it's dead center of your actual ship. So I might go and swap into my hauler just for this part, just because you can see the actual um, readings a lot easier without having to keep moving the stick around and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to call in my um, freighter, swap to my hauler, and I'll be right back. Hauler now, and you can see the dash 
it, it's right next to the freaking center so it's so much easier to actually see the screen and where you're actually going i'm just going to fly down to the center of the planet and hopefully we can see there you go you can see the coordinates already as soon as i let go of the thrust you can see what i've got there so i've got plus 37 and minus 51 so i need to get this spun around and i need to start bringing that back the other way so there you go you need to start going the opposite direction but yeah hopefully Hopefully I'll be right back with you once I find these coordinates. For some reason, okay. the actual coordinates over to the right hand side keep changing. And uh, yeah, there's been twice where I've got extremely close now. And then the coordinates have changed. So if I keep going this way, at the moment it's falling in the right direction on both dials at roughly the right speed. And as long as those coordinates over to the right don't change again, I should be okay. I'm going to stay in the atmosphere because... Going outside of the atmosphere seems to make it change. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on, chums. We'll see how okay, we get on. I was fairly close, and then they freaking changed again, chums. Yeah, so you see that? It jumped from 9 to 8.66. So I'm just going to land. Oh, it's just jumped to 9.02. I'm going to get out of the freaking ship, because this is weird. Right, let's just land. Land, 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 before something else goes weird. Right, so here we go. We're landing here. And you can see that it just changed to 9-something again then. When it was eight something before. So I'm 4798. I'm on 4748. So let's try and get the other location to eight something. Why does it keep changing? It, it shouldn't move. I mean, unless this is not a plaque this time, this is something else. It's just changed again to 908. This is bizarre. 908. Okay, so let's try and get that to go to 908. So I need it to drop. There we go. So I'm going to head this way and we'll try and get that to. It's now 943. What the fudge? What the freaking fudge? And it's now just jumped to 4. This this is weird. I don't know why it's changing, chums, but once I get to the destination, I'll be sure to let you know exactly what's going on. This is bizarre. I have no idea what's going on. Another ancient plaque. It's fairly close to these coordinates. And there is another ancient plaque just over by my ship over there that I went to earlier. Let's see if this is it. Distributed secure archive. Archive of the Corvax Prime. We're there, chums. We are there. Awesome. Oh, I've never been so happy. Awesome. We're there. We've made it there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Log follows. Right. Partial success. Archived. The bridge allows the implementation of consciousness shards within a discrete shell. Okay. Unit remains connected to a greater mind. Sensory input fully shared. Attempts to localize sensory inputs cause traumatic desperation. Unfruitful. Suspect of biological core required. Root sensory experience in bodily experience to improve stability. System must have local control. Makes sense. Experimental synthesis. Operational. Awaiting a biogenesis. Materials. What do you want this time? The plaque replays more data from before. The destruction of the Corvax Prime. These researchers were building something biological shell, an individual manifestation of their own convergent mind. Well, I haven't got a pulsating core. You're going to give me a blueprint for a pulsating core, aren't you? These machines were built to synthesize light from advanced technology. I am once again supplied with the plans required. I am indeed. Yes. One of the plans is for a novel multi-tool upgrade. The solar ray. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I just need some cobalt. Excellent. Okay. Cool. And I need to find liquid sun after I've put in this new multi-tool attachment. Right. You can die. You freaking frick frick. Die. Lovely jubbly. Right, well what I'd do is I'd call down my ship and put my ship here, I think. Shippity ship. Oh. Why why can't I bring my ship? Did I not go and it's not my usual ship, is it? That's why. Okay, I'll tell you what I'd do. I bring in my other ship. So here we go. Go into here. And I pull down this one. Awesome. Come on, quick, because I'm going to freaking burn. If not, no, I'd have to just freaking do some of this. There you are. Maybe. That didn't even do anything. Right, so let's just sit in the ship and let's get my um, my status back and let me just collect my forts. Well, I figured I don't really use my bolt caster all that much. I use my grenades. So, I've just deleted one of my bolt caster thingies. And let's um, see where this blueprint is. Solar ray. There we are. 
and it, I think I've got the cobalt from somewhere, must have picked it up from my freighter. So that's actually installed. Lovely, we now have the solar ray. Okay, right, so if I leave my ship just here, that should help me in getting back to this location. But now what I need to do is try and make this um, this solar ray, well this uh, weird stuff that I need, liquid sun. Okay, so how do I make liquid sun when it's at home then? Okay, the void host requires heart gather liquid sun. How do I... The solar ray will convert metal to liquid. Okay, well in that case, is there a copper deposit nearby? Activated copper, that's... well, that one's 300, and that one's 100. We'll go to there. Let's see if we... let's see if blasting this with the solar ray makes liquid sun. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. I'd imagine you'd have to blast gold if it was any metal. But um, there we are. Let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. Um, right, so here we are. Oh, there we go. No, it's working. It's freaking working. Ah, oh, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> it does. This is so cool. Okay, well, I'm making liquid sun. I hope we get to use this liquid sun for something else. I mean, imagine if you could put that into solar cells or something like that. You know, that you never have to power a base again. That'd be nice. That'd be freaking ace, in fact, if you could store sunlight in a base and just use it as power. Okay, there's not going to be enough in this one hole, is there? I'm going to be just shy. Darn it! Well, there was another deposit not too far away, so not to worry, Mr. Steve. That's, um, that's the one I've just had. Okay, so where was the other one? There it is, over there. No, it isn't. That's pyrite. That's not what we want. Pyrite. Activated copper. 1,000 used. It was closer than that. Pyrite. Sodium. Well, I tell you what, chums. I'll be right back with you. After a... F ah, there you go. That'd do. I'll be right back well, with I'm you on enough of the liquid sun. So now I can craft something else. Let's go into here. And what am I crafting? I'm crafting this freaking thing. Heck yes. The pulsating core. Done. Right. So I'm just going to move that over near to the um, heart anyway. Or the brain, sorry, I should say. Excellent. Right, so I guess now I've got to head back to wherever I've parked my ship, because that's by where the plaque is. Awesome. That was clever of me. I mean, I could have put down a custom marker, but the thing is, with that minor settlement there, I probably would have got mixed up with the two. Oh, it actually puts an egg location there anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you don't mark the location. It looks like you get a marker. Oh, okay. Fair enough. The, it, this universe does help you a little bit more than I gave it credit for. Wow, look at those flying by. I think they're twins. They look quite cool, don't they? Flying in unison like that. It would be nice to see squadrons of matching ships more often. It really would. Okay, so let's head on over here. And let's go and interact with this. Awesome. Hello. Experimental synthesis unit operational. Lovely jubbly. Awaiting biogenesis material. I have it. I have a pulsating core. What are you going to give me in return? As machine begins its work, I feel the egg twitch within my exosuit. Twitchy. It is responsible for activating these machines. Its imprint is upon the life I am creating. I feel like a wanton mother. Oh, the fragile heart. Okay, Sweet. right, so that's done. I bet you this is going to take another 24 hours, isn't it, chums? Those ships are really flying by, aren't they? That's pretty cool. All right, well, there we go. Yep, 22 hours and 2 minutes and 27 seconds. Right, so that's the next step done. Oh, pterodactyl. Freaking don't mind if I do. I'm going to scan you. Okay, why are you scanning? Oh, you disappeared. Get, pterodactyl, you freaking get. Right, okay, well, jumps. I will see you guys in 22 hours and so time. Cheery bye for now. This is exciting stuff. Freaking frustrating, though. That was, that was really frustrating. Yeah, but I got here. And it is a plaque, so you might have been able to use those maps. But yeah, there was another one in close proximity, so it didn't work for me. Alright, cheery bye, chums, cheery bye. And if you wish to support my channel, you can do so by heading over to Patreon. There is a tier there for pretty much everyone, including ship models. These ten lucky jabbies are getting ship models, thanking you, Patreons. And yeah, here's all my other Patreon backers, thanking you, Patreons. And new to the channel is YouTube membership. Hurry on over, see if it appeals to you, thanking you. 
Okay, drop in a super chat or a donation also helps me towards getting my goal, which is a PlayStation 5, and bringing you next gen. Or head on over to Teespring, grab yourself a gnarly mug or a t shirt. That'll be sweet. Or just hit a like, subscribe, or hit the notification bell. You can click one of these to stay with the channel a little bit longer. Or just don't skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Goodbye.